The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. It's really tough when you're talking about this Kyrie Irving LeBron James situation because you don't want to sound um, unsensitive or insensitive to LeBron James by knocking LeBron and his personality. But at the same time, you kind of have to understand Kyrie's side of things. It is not easy to play with LeBron James, not the player on the court, because he he makes the game of basketball easier than anybody has ever played this game, right? It's easy to play with LeBron on the court. He gets you open shots. He commands so much attention for teams defensively. You get good looks, right? He's one of the best passes we've ever seen. He's one of the he has one of the highest basketball live cues we've ever seen. So playing with LeBron, that that's pretty cool. The problem is. LeBron, the businessman, gets in the way with a lot of things. As you've seen this offseason, James Harden signed a long-term deal. You had Anthony Davis sign a long-term deal a couple years ago. You got Kevin Durant. Though he has two-year deals in Golden State, nobody really believes that Kevin Durant is leaving Golden State anytime soon. You've seen Steph just sign a long-term deal. So pretty much everywhere, everybody that's in these situations, um, as anywhere close to the basketball player that LeBron James is, they're signing to long-term deals. LeBron, on the other hand, he continues to maintain his freedom. He signs one-year deals with player options on two. This time around, he signed a two-year deal with a player option on the third year. He'll be a free agent if he wants to next summer. And you're kind of at that point now where you... You got to believe LeBron is thinking about leaving. You have to believe LeBron is considering leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I think LeBron, the, biz the businessman, interferes with um, what Kyrie wants to do. And it's tough. If you're the Cavs, look, Kyrie's like, look, why do y'all sit here and let this man, he already brought y'all the championship. Why y'all letting this man hold y'all hostage? Because if he leaves, it's over. Right, and you got James Harden signing long-term deals. I'm not saying that's smart, but you got James Harden saying, "Forget that, forget that. I want to be in Houston forever." And I think Kyrie's seen that. And you got LeBron; he's signing. Well, it's 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 his fault, right? That J.R. Smith got a three-year deal without LeBron being on that team. Cleveland doesn't give J.R. Smith twelve to fifteen million dollars a year. Tristan Thompson got close to max dollar. If LeBron's not on that team, if LeBron's not saying get the deal done. Nobody's giving Tristan Thompson, who I like him, seems like a good dude, but he's an $80 million rebounder, right? That's what he is, an $80 million rebounder. He couldn't even stay on the court against Golden State. So you you understand that these are Rich Paul's guys, LeBron's best friend, and, and LeBron's represented by Rich Paul, and LeBron had to, do what it, had to do what it do to get his guys paid to help his best friend's brand. So again, that's where LeBron, the businessman, is interfering to with LeBron the player and I think that's hurting the relationship with Kyrie you look at the veterans that's on the team Channing Fry and Richard Jefferson got a podcast now I believe so they're probably not going anywhere they're probably going to stick this thing out until LeBron leaves Kyrie's like damn that's half the team connected to LeBron personally and all I asked for was Jordan McCray and Shump and Shump has been in trade rumors all summer and Jordan McCray got released in February last year so I, I get it. I get it. And I think we got to differentiate the basketball player and the business. And I think the business side is hurting um, the relationship between LeBron and Kyrie. And LeBron can't get mad at that. Kyrie has to look at this situation like this. LeBron is as close to Dwayne Wade as he is any other NBA player. And LeBron reportedly told Dwayne Wade on a plane that he had made up his mind to leave Miami and go back to his hometown team of Cleveland. So if you're Kyrie, you're like, bro, for a better situation, LeBron left Dwayne Wade, who was Asian, and Chris Bosh in his prime to go be a part of a better situation in Kyrie Irving and LeBron obviously knew that they would get Kevin Love. So if you're Kyrie, you see what happened. You see he left his best friend. You know he'll leave you if y'all not that close off the court. Kyrie just got ahead of the situation. I do believe LeBron's considering the Los Angeles Lakers. I really do. 
Do I know for a fact he had planned on opting out and going to the Lakers? I don't. I don't. I don't know if he even wants to leave teams. I really think in, a, in his heart of hearts, LeBron came back to Cleveland to stay for the rest of his career. But it looks like he's had he's going to force himself out of town. If Kyrie leaves, you got to know LeBron's not staying around for that. Tristan's still on the contract. J.R. Smith got another, another year on his deal. LeBron, he's going to dip. He's going to dip. He's going to dip on all that. He's just too smart of a man. He doesn't like putting himself in bad situations. Now, you might knock him for that because the greats like Kobe and, and Jordan didn't leave teams like that, but LeBron's a different player, and he's smarter than what Kobe and Jordan ever were off the court. It's the reality of the situation. So I just don't think LeBron has the right to get mad at Kyrie. Now, he can't get mad at how Kyrie's kind of leaving it out in the atmosphere and how Kyrie won't speak on it and LeBron's name. It's, it's, putting, it's creating a bad aura around LeBron James' name. I get that. If I get it, I get why Kyrie, uh, I get why LeBron's mad at Kyrie for that. Because when LeBron left Miami, he never came out and said it had anything to do with Dwayne Wade or Chris Bosh. That story never leaked. And it had a lot to do with Dwayne Wade not being as good as Kyrie Irving was, right? That's what it was about. Kevin Love and Chris Bosh, that's pretty much a wash. I'd probably take Chris Bosh a little bit over Kevin Love at that time. Um, Kevin Love was averaging 26 and 10 with Minnesota at the time. Don't get me wrong, but Chris Bosh fat with LeBron James. That was a good fit once they got it together. Let's make it clear. This came down to Kyrie Irving being a better basketball player Dwayne, than Dwayne Wade, but LeBron never let that leak out. And I think that's what LeBron's so upset about is Kyrie is kind of leaving it in the air that he wants to leave and go be his own guy because he doesn't want to play with LeBron. But let's make it clear. I don't agree with Kyrie's decision. I respect it. But he's trying to leave LeBron James the businessman, not LeBron James on the court. He'd be a fool to want to leave that. But the businessman is kind of comparable to what Dwayne Wade was on the court, if you're following me here. He done, the businessman is tough to play with. LeBron had to watch Dwayne Wade's body break down that last season when they lost to San Antonio in five games. He had to watch his body break down. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't easy to see one of your closest friends break down and not be the guy that you saw four, three years ago when you joined Miami, or four years ago when you joined Miami. And Kyrie's got to look up and be like, damn, bro. LeBron, the businessman, is starting to make some questionable decisions with Tristan Thompson and J.R. Smith. This is not what I thought I was getting myself into three or four years ago. I thought LeBron, the businessman, was smarter than this. And um, that's where we're at with it right now, and that's the situation. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yes!